Welcome to Put Health on Your Agenda. This is a series of health and wellness presentations for Mojave County employees. They are short and people friendly. The series will be archived and available 24 seven so you can conveniently put health on your agenda. You can count on us to present accurate and engaging health information. The following presentation is about heart health. Heart disease is the number one cause of death in the United States. About 600,000 people die annually from heart conditions. Many forms of heart disease can be prevented, treated, and some conditions reversed with healthy lifestyle choices. This presentation will discuss the types, risks, warning signs, and prevention of heart disease. Healthy Heart 101. This is a collaborative effort between Mojave County Tobacco and Chronic Disease Prevention Program and the American Heart Association Phoenix Chapter. I'm Carol Smith Carter, a Community Health Education Specialist with Mojave County Tobacco and Chronic Disease Program. This presentation is about 15 minutes. There's no intermission, so please grab a healthy snack now and sit back and learn something. Please note that the slides advance automatically, so don't be looking around for an arrow button. Let's get started. Today's topics will include what is heart disease, signs of a heart attack, are you at risk for a heart attack, how can you prevent it, and living healthier with life's simple seven. Why is it important that you understand heart disease? Here's a few reasons. Heart disease is the number one killer of adults in the United States. About 600,000 people die annually from heart disease. That's about one in four adult deaths in the United States. And heart disease may be prevented if men and women make the right choices for better health. What is heart disease? Heart disease is a broad term that refers to a range of diseases that affect your heart. The term heart disease is often referred to as cardiovascular disease. Types of heart conditions include disease of blood vessels such as coronary artery disease, which is the most common condition, and leads to heart attacks, chest pain, or stroke. Heart rhythm problems such as arrhythmias, heart infections, congenital heart defects, and conditions that affect heart muscles. Here's some facts about heart health. Factors leading to heart disease may start when we are young and develop over time. Heart disease can strike men and women at any age. Healthy lifestyle changes can prevent, postpone, or even reverse some heart conditions. 64% of women who die from coronary heart disease have no previous symptoms. Symptoms of a heart attack. Know the warning signs. They are chest discomfort, discomfort in the upper body, shortness of breath, cold sweats, nausea, and lightheadedness. If you or someone you are with experiences these symptoms, please call 911 immediately. Are you at risk for heart disease? If you have any of these risk factors listed below, you are at risk for heart disease. Some risk factors we can control, and these are high cholesterol, high blood pressure, physical inactivity, obesity and overweight, type two diabetes, and smoking. And there are also risk factors we can't control, such as increasing age, heredity, our family history, and race. Members of some races, particularly African Americans, are at higher risk. Now we're going to talk about maintaining good heart health. The American Heart Association has a great program called Living Better with Life's Simple Seven. The seven topics include blood pressure, getting active, cholesterol, 
healthy eating, weight, don't smoke, and blood sugar. Manage your blood pressure. High blood pressure is the single most significant risk factor for heart disease. One out of every three American adults have high blood pressure, and many are unaware of it. We call it the silent killer. Take action. Know and understand your blood pressure numbers. To reduce high blood pressure and maintain good blood pressure, practice healthy eating habits, be active, and don't smoke. Get active. People who exercise have better health than those who do not. Take action. Engage in moderate activities 30 minutes per day, 5 days per week. Make your decision to get moving and choose activities that you enjoy. Commit to a routine activity schedule. Remember that exercise improves your life physically, mentally, and emotionally. Control your cholesterol. Too much bad cholesterol, known as LDL, in your blood can promote plaque buildup in your arteries putting you at risk for heart disease and stroke. Take action. Get tested. It's a simple blood test. Follow your health care provider's advice. Make healthy food choices. About 25% of our cholesterol comes directly from what we eat. And of course, get moving. Exercise can lower cholesterol and blood pressure. Eat better. Why? Well, a variety of heart-healthy nutrition supports and promotes good health. A healthy diet can also reverse some heart conditions. Take action. Say yes to lots of fruits and veggies, whole grain carbohydrates, fat-free and low-fat dairy products, and fish with omega-3 fatty acids. Say no to foods and beverages with added sugar, and products high in sodium. Eat smart and be healthy. Read labels and ask questions about the food if you're eating out. If you are overweight or obese, lose weight. When you are overweight, you have a high body mass index known as BMI. BMI is a height to weight ratio that helps you identify a healthy weight target. Take action. For effective weight loss, start here. Know your BMI because it's a key to good heart health. You can also visit www.cdc.gov forward slash healthy weight. This is a great site to help you learn how to measure your BMI. Next, know how many calories you need to reach and maintain a healthy weight. Then start a weight loss plan. Reduce calories. Plan healthy food choices and stick with your plan. Engage in regular physical activity. You can start slow if necessary and work toward 30 to 45 minutes per day. If you haven't exercised in some time or you're under doctor's care for a health condition, please check with your health care provider before you start a routine exercise plan. Don't smoke. Smoking is the number one preventable cause of death in the United States. Take action. If you're a smoker and you want to quit, contact us at Mojave County Tobacco Prevention Program. We're at extension 4360. We can help. Talk with your health care provider. Write your reasons for quitting. Understand your nicotine addiction, smoking triggers, and habits. Create a quit plan. We can help. Give us a call. Reduce your blood sugar. High blood sugar encourages the growth of plaque in your arteries and it increases your risk for diabetes, heart disease, and stroke. Take action. Make healthy food choices. Commit to a regular physical activity plan and maintain a healthy weight and BMI. We just briefly reviewed the American Heart Association's program, Life's Simple Seven. 
Again, the simple seven things to measure and track are your blood pressure, blood cholesterol, blood sugar, smoking status, healthy weight, physical activity, and healthy diet. Please visit www.mylifecheck.org to complete your own life check. If you can achieve an excellent rating in all of the simple seven areas, you will reach your ideal cardiovascular health. Why do we need a simple seven success plan? A plan will help you reduce your risk for heart disease and stroke, reduce your risk of illness and disability, decrease your need for surgeries, medications, and treatments, and improve your quality of life. With a success plan, every step counts towards your goal. If you know, measure, and track life's simple seven, you're taking the right steps toward better health for you and for your family. Together, we're building a healthier future, one heart at a time. Get started today. Visit www.mylifecheck.org. Listed below are resources, local and statewide, and we also welcome any questions or suggestions you might have. Again, I'm Carol Smith Carter with Mojave County Tobacco and Chronic Disease Prevention Program at extension 2360, or you may contact Annie Meredith and Kingman at extension 4360, or Misty Hass in Lake Havasu at extension 3437. We are all there at McTuff to help you with quitting tobacco, living healthy lives, and chronic conditions. And also, please get in touch with the American Heart Association if you have questions and go to www.heart.org or definitely visit www.mylifecheck.org. Thank you. We hope this was a helpful health education experience for you. Knowledge is power. Please watch for our monthly wellness presentation alerts in your mailbox and put health on your agenda. March is Nutrition Awareness Month. Don't miss our presentation, Healthy Eating 101. This is a Mojave County Department of Public Health production. Thanks again, and I'll see you next month.